Hey, what's up? This is Garth Richards for MachineMinuteTips.com and today I'm going to show you how I use lock mode on the machine studio. You can make changes to your beat using snapshots. That way you can, you know, sequence the beat on the fly, then record it to another track, which I'll show you how to do. And then once you've done that, you can just drag that uh, audio file onto your desktop and then send it straight to your, to your client. So anyway, with that being said, let's get into it. When things go wrong, as they sometimes do. When the road that you're trudging seems all uphill When the funds are low and the debts are high And you want to smile but you have to stop When air is pressing you down a bit Rest if you must, but don't you quit Come again, rest if you must, but don't you quit I said rest if you must, but don't you quit So if we go over to Splice I've just got a vocal track just for a reference Just so that I can get an idea of how the beat wants to um, sound for my client, let's just say. Uh, and so I've just used bridge mode. So I created a new group and then within that group, I added the splice uh, bridge, which is in VST free or audio units and you select splice bridge there. With that to one side, this is basically the sample. Okay, just solos, drum break here. And then we added a bass line, so let's just go ahead and solo the bass. Together with the drum beat. Hey, that's all you need, nice and simple. Right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to use the lock feature um, within Machine Studio. So let's just jump right into it. Right, so I'm gonna show you how to create a two track from this performance inside a machine. Going to sampler and your detect mode, uh, sorry, your mode wants to be on detect, the threshold wants to be zero. 
So you can see here, uh, your source wants to be internal because you're recording the, the sounds that are coming out of machine itself. Uh, and then the input is going to be master, which means it's all of the sounds that are coming out of your master bus will be recorded back onto a pad or a track in machine. So on the machine studio, you want to make sure to hit start first. You can do that in the software also, but we're going to focus on the machine hardware because obviously you're going to do your, your little drops and stuff like that. Um, and your sort of change, your change ups and stuff like that using the controller. So you hit start. And then you make sure this is very important. Otherwise, you won't be able to select external lock. As you can see, I'm holding down shift, but nothing is happening here. So you've got to go to channel. Then you can hold down shift, get into external lock. Uh, and now you can go ahead and start playing your beat. You must, but don't you quit. When things go wrong, as they sometimes will, when the road that you're trudging seems all uphill, when the funds are low and the debts are high, and you want to smile, but you have to sigh. When care is pressing you down a bit, rest if you must, but don't you quit. Come again, rest if you must, but don't you quit. I said, rest if you must, but don't you quit. So we've gone ahead and we've played our beat and we now need to come out of the external lock, go to sample and then hit stop. So as you can see, you've got your wave, your waveform here. Just go to edit, normalize. Uh, and then you can kind of just make your changes here. The, we can go to cut uh, and then do the same here at the very end. Just going to cut this here. So now just hit play and you should hear your beat will, will, uh, with your change ups and what have you. So there you go, You've got any idea there. So now you have um, edited your um, your demo track. Now we could just go ahead and rename it. I don't know, just call it demo test one. By right clicking on the waveform, you can then search finder within your Mac for the actual file. So we're just gonna right click here. Uh, we're gonna go find and finder. And there it is here. Um, and you can just go ahead and just drag this off onto your desktop, just like that. So I'm just gonna play, uh, just play it back now by hitting the space bar on your Mac.
So that's basically how you use snapshots or lock mode um, within machine and machine studio and also how you can record your demo tracks without having to sequence your beats within machine sequencer and record them to a separate track within machine so that you can send that audio file off um, to whoever needs to hear that beat. It's a quick way to, you know, get your ideas flowing, get them down, get them recorded and then send it off to whoever needs to hear it rather than spend time, like I just said, by sequencing the beat and all this sort of thing. Hopefully that's helpful for you guys. Don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't already. This is Garth Richards for MachineMinuteTips.com and I'll be seeing you in the next one.